Welcome to a lesson on graphing horizontal and vertical lines. Example one, we want to graph the equation y equals two. So we'll graph this using a table of values. So we first select the input or x values and then find the corresponding output or y values. It doesn't matter what x values we select as long as they appear on the horizontal axis. Let's go and select negative three, zero, and two. Now normally at this point, we perform substitution into the equation and then find the corresponding output or y value. But notice how our equation does not contain x, the equation only contains y, and therefore this is telling us that y, the output, must always be two. So let's record y values of two. And now we'll write the ordered pairs where we have negative three comma two, zero comma two, and two comma two. Each of these ordered pairs satisfy the equation because the output or y is always two. So if we plot these points, we can sketch our line. So we have negative three comma two, which is here. And then we have zero comma two here, which is our vertical intercept. And then we have two comma two, which would be here. And now we graph our line, and notice how we have a horizontal line that crosses the vertical axis at y equals two. So it's true that whenever we have a linear equation in the form of y equals b, where b is any real number, we'll have a horizontal line that has a vertical intercept of b. Example two, we want to graph the equation x equals negative three. Now this one's a little bit different. Again, normally we begin by selecting the inputs or x values, but in this case we don't have a choice. The equation says x equals negative three. So let's record negative three as the input three times. Again, at this point, we typically perform substitution and find the corresponding output or y values, but notice how our equation only contains x, there is no y. Because there is no y in the equation, that means y can be any real number, so we'll select our y values, let's say negative four, zero, and three. This would give us the ordered pairs, negative three comma negative four, negative three comma zero, and negative three comma three. Notice each ordered pair does satisfy this equation because the x value or input is negative three. So we'll go ahead and plot these points and graph our line. So for negative three comma negative four, we'd move left three units and down four units to here. And then we have negative three comma zero, which would be the horizontal intercept here. And finally we have negative three comma three, so from the origin we move left three units and up three units to here. Now we sketch our line and notice in this case we have a vertical line that has a horizontal intercept or x-intercept of negative three. So it's true that whenever we have an equation in the form x equals k, where k is a real constant, we will always have a vertical line that has a horizontal intercept or x-intercept of k. I hope you found this helpful.